Welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and we're going to be talking about Tears of the Kingdom, I know. It's the topic that never gets old at my channel, and I'm going to keep talking about it because it's my most hyped video game of all time. It's a sequel to my favorite video game of all time, and I never grow tired of talking about it. Today, we are going to focus in on the champions. You guys remember the champions from Breath of the Wild? Well, maybe you don't, because really, all we have is memories in that game. Then again, if you play the DLC... If you played Age of Calamity, I guess you got to know the champions a bit better. But we're not really focusing in on them, but rather the abilities we gained from them in Breath of the Wild and their possible return in Tears of the Kingdom. Now, before we get into it, I just want to remind you guys that we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, we'll have a collector's edition giveaway if we get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out. I say that in almost every video. But I honestly just... I have this goal, you know, I, I have a goal in mind of being able to obtain autonomy from concern. Uh, how do I, how do I put this? It would be nice if I could just take some time off once in a while and not have to worry about uh, how the channel's doing. And in order to do that, we have to hit specific goals and specific targets. I don't want to get all technical and into the numbers with you guys, but just know that I appreciate all of your likes, all of your comments, and I appreciate every single subscriber from the very first one, which I think was myself, all the way to the very most recent one, which is like subscriber 91,760 something. I don't know. You guys are awesome and amazing, and I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family. Now, moving on, let's talk about Tears of the Kingdom. So a poll popped up over on the Tears of the Kingdom Reddit, right? Uh, just a random poll uh, talking about the champion abilities and, and which one you would like to see come back. And it's no surprise that Ravali's Gale was clearly the number one response, followed by Mipha's Grace, Urbrosa's Fury, and Daruk's Protection. Uh, that, that's not really a surprise. Those are probably a ranking of the most popular ability. People love Ravali's Gale. It really helps with exploration. Uh, a lot, and some people like having Mipha's grace it's kind of a you know an oh shit button you die and you instantly come back it's like having the ultimate fairy in your pocket except uh it also gives you extra hearts so it's even better that being said we don't have any confirmation that the abilities are back for the longest time we have thought the champion abilities can't be there with link right he's got a glowing hand he's got this reverse time mechanic there's no way that he could have these abilities back now we do know that there is some sort of sheikah slate in the game because we have official art with zelda holding a, some sort of sheikah slate like thing and nintendo's made references that is some sort of sheikah slate type thing and that's cool and that does sort of bring up the idea that maybe the abilities aren't gone well link might have some new abilities what if we have the old abilities as well or maybe we have some of the abilities some of the time or maybe we just have one of the abilities and maybe we even get to choose imagine that because look it, it feels tired going back to this but the producer of the legend of zelda series recently said you know hey the world can change based on your imagination what if one of those imagination things is a choice you make where you get to choose one of the four abilities and you get to just have it throughout the game and you can't change that choice until you restart all over again. So suddenly you can choose one of the other abilities or one of the other abilities or one of the other abilities all in hindsight. That would be kind of interesting if that was a mechanic. Again, we don't have any suggestions this is happening other than the fact that, yeah, there's some sort of Sheikah Slate-like thing in the game and Zelda holds it. Now, I don't want to go too much into art book spoilers or anything, but there is just one little tiny reference I want to make. I don't really think it's a spoiler because I don't know what it means, but there is a, a, a piece of art in that leak where Link is also holding that same sort of Sheikah Slate thing that Zelda has. I'm not going to say much more than that. I'm not going to go into details other than that. Yeah, there, there at least was an idea of Link holding what Zelda's holding in that art. So when you think about that, it really brings forward that maybe temporarily or something that Link might have access to these old champion abilities. And yeah, they're really powerful abilities. They help shape the game in many different ways and they work brilliantly within the physics system and there's going to be new abilities because we've already seen some it's just curious if we get to revisit some of these old ones and how they might interact with the new ones because some of the most fun things to do with the abilities was to use them in tandem combine 
you know, Rivali's Gale with Stasis or something, right? And like just a lot of crazy things that you guys can do with these. Um, you know, a, a lot of these abilities, you know, the Urbosa's Fu uh, Urbo Urbosa's Fury, Fury, man, I can't get that word out. Uh, Daruk's Protection and Mifa's Grace, those are all sort of combat related abilities. It's interesting that Rivali's Gale, although can be used in combat, is the most popular ability because of the exploration and we love exploring. It's one of the number one things. I mean, the game was sold to us as an exploration game. I don't know. You guys let me know uh, what your thoughts are here because I I could leave, I could take or leave the abilities. They don't necessarily need to be in the game. I like the idea of having completely new mechanics and completely new abilities, but I also like the idea of at least occasionally being able to revisit an old mechanic that we can maybe use in a new way with our new abilities in this new world we're in. I mean, Revali's Gale makes so much sense to be able to have, you know, up in the floating islands as an example. It'd be really nice to have that ability, especially if they update and they could, like pop it midair while we're falling. Wouldn't that be something? That'd be really cool. But obviously, these abilities were all tied to the champions, which were a huge part of that first game, at least in terms of the story and the DLC. I don't think the champions or their successors will necessarily be as big of a part of Tears of the Kingdom. It's a personal thought. I think they do exist. I think they're in the world somewhere. I just don't think that their role is nearly as big as it was in Breath of the Wild. I sort of get the idea that a lot of the new ideas they came up with for this game were completely original and almost independent of the original game. Now you might go, but then why is there a new Sheikah Slate thing? Well, Notice we have a Sheikah Slate thing, but it looks different, which means there's something different about it. Maybe something happened to the old Sheikah Slate and it got destroyed. Because after all, what don't we know about? The Divine Beasts. What happened with them? Where have they gone? They were a huge part of the Sheikah Slate. Where the hell are the damn Divine Beasts? Don't know. At the end of Breath of the Wild, we were supposed to go check out Varuta, but... We have no idea what happened to the Divine Beasts. They are nowhere to be seen. So you combine that in tandem with the fact that Zelda has this new little Sheikah site. You wonder, did the old Sheikah site maybe stop working because the old Sheikah technology stopped working? So then everything got disassembled from, you know, the Guardians to the, the Divine Beasts. And they reused those parts, as we've seen uh, in some images and, and in some let's just say uh, interesting ways. Maybe they've reused those parts for other things. And then we have a new Sheikah Slate, a newly built one, maybe by uh, a certain character in the game from Breath of the Wild. I'm just throwing that out there. And that gives us access to the abilities again, but maybe only one at a time, or maybe only one. Like there's not, it's not as powerful as the old Sheikah Slate because a lot of the Sheikah technology doesn't work anymore. Or maybe we're just all wild and all this stuff we assume is Zonai is actually Sheikah and they just change colors from blue to green. I, <laughs> I mean, that's a, a, a crazy theory to be at this point, but you know what? Anything is possible. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I'm going to get going out here to PAX East and uh, having some fun uh, with some friends and you guys have a good rest of your day. Yeah.